This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Good evening, Luzon. Good evening, Visayas. Good evening, Mindanao. I am Marin Flores Macola, and this is News 24. Welcome to the highest and latest news. We serve people, we deliver news, and we are the best news in the Philippines. This is News 24. Good morning! Our news for today is all about the rise of medieval university to Chivalry and how does it influence the education today. Let's move on to our headlines. Frederick I and the first medieval university. Medieval university and its two young general. Teachers benefits and privileges during medieval university degrees offering during medieval university education a social discipline Emperor Frederick I and the First Medieval University. Mr. Albert Chen Hogo reporting. Frederick I or Frederick Barbarossa, besides arguing with the Pope over who held ultimate authority in the church, Frederick I is also known for chatter the first university, the University of Bologna, in 1158. During 11th century, any type of higher education was usually available only in monasteries and cathedral schools, where Christian monks and nuns taught each other and preserved the writing of classical authors. But this year, medieval Europe was becoming more urban and complex, and royal governments needed highly trained men to run their government. Students and teachers were also demanding a better way to be educated. And the solution to this came about with the creation of the university. During these times, universities did not have physical facilities, such as the campus of a modern university. Classes were taught wherever space was available, such as churches and homes. The main curriculum was based on seven areas, which are grammar, rhetoric, logic, arithmetic, music, astronomy, and geometry. Albert Chen Hugo, reporting, News 24. Medieval University and its Tujum General. Cynthia Gacasa, reporting. Medieval University and its Tujum General. Teachers and students are organized as a nation. The leader is called Consular. Teachers and faculties are teaching at the same subject, and its facultas were led by the dean. The dean, which is the dean and the counselor, are met to elect the rector, to who serve as the head of the university. The scholar in this university are exempted for paying contributions, and they are exempted for military arrest and trials. But the university can do. At the age of 13, 14 years old, Boy was enrolled in the university as an apprentice to a master for a 3 to 7 years depending on his ability. After turning 21, the boy or the apprentice was named workman to train younger men and at 25 years old, they are studied to disputation and familiarize her himself and to local tests. News 24, Sinchagakasa, reporting. 
teacher's benefits and privileges during medieval university. Jesse Grande reporting. Morning, the son of Isaiah Sinidanang. During the 13th century, experience a comparative peace that permitted the development of higher intellectual life under the influence of monastic schools who are the devoted institution, teaching of medicine, who are the first universities. The university, the university started out as an association chartered by the monarch people called as Universities Magestrian Escolarium which means Corporation of Teachers and Students. Emperor Frederick I of Bologna in 1158, who was the charter of the first organized medieval university, and the University of Naples was chartered by Frederick II, the city of Naples, in 1224. Days and Grande reporting from News 24. Back to studio. Degrees offering during Medieval University. Jennifer Macola reporting. Medieval University was the cesspool of higher education that emerged in Western Europe during the 11th and 12th century. There are three degrees offering at Medieval University. At the age of 13 or 14 years old, a boy wishing advanced his knowledge. Law and university as an apprentice. Apprentice studies regular arts and decorations for teaching, read ordinary texts, grammar, learn the political and logic. At the age of 21 years old, the apprentice was named for man, for training under boys or furthering his studies. At the age of 23 years old, studies distribution and familiarization with local best order to prove his knowledge and learning. I am Jennifer Makala, reporting News 24. Education, a social discipline. Didian Gasita, reporting. Heavenly education as a social discipline. It is the secular counterpart of monasticism aims to attain the highest social ideals through forms and customs. It focuses on the development of the character of a gentleman, like being honorable, dignified, God-fearing, and respectful of authority. Educational system ideal only for the noble. Night education held in a formal school but in a palace and court. Now, from the age of seven, gentlemen acted as a page of castle, attending the needs of noble ladies, played musical instruments, took a religious ceremonies, and learned to read and write. Then, at the age of 14, Gentlemen were being promoted as attendant to a knight. They learned to care for horses. They practiced courtesy, kindness, gentleness, generosity, and other desirable treats. When turning 21, an attendant took to the bow of a knight before his king and lady. Bow expected to defend the church respect dress code and protect also the woman. Girl noble birth was both religious. Palace rituals and ceremonies, singing and dancing, management of household servants. I'm Julian Gasita, News 24, reporting. I am Marion Flores Mahola, your news anchor for today. And that's all for the rise of medieval university to chivalry. And this is News 24. Thank you so much and have a blessed day. So, yun po guys. Tapos na po ang group 3. Sana po ay nagustuhan ninyo ang aming presentasyon. Patungkol po sa 
the rise of medieval university coaching world. Maraming salamat guys at maraming salamat sa pakikinig. Ingat po tayo lagi at have a blessed day. Bye-bye!